Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if a fatal error occurred while trying to sysprep the machine. So the system preparation tool is a Microsoft utility, and if you're getting this issue when trying to run it, this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve the problem. So we're going to jump right into it, and we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just left click on the Start button one time. Type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. You want to right click on that, and then left click on Runner's Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now, before we proceed with the registry, I would highly suggest creating a backup of it. So in order to do that, just left click on the File tab at the top left. Left click on Export. Save it to a convenience file on your computer, name the file whatever you want, and then preferably for the export range, select all. And for the file name, probably the date that you're creating the backup is the most logical choice. And then just left click on save to save it. If you ever need to import it back in, just do file import. And then it would restore the registry back to how it was before. It just would locate the registry backup files, whether it's on the desktop or on an external media source. And you just left click on open. So pretty straightforward. So once you've done that, you want to go expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on the folder or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand the view. And now you want to do the same thing for the software folder. And now you go down to Microsoft, expand that one as well. Now scroll down to Windows NT. So I'm just going to scroll down a little bit here. Expand that one as well. Expand current version. Now look for Software Protection Platform, right here. Just left click on the folder once, you don't have to expand it. And on the right side, there should be something that says Skip Rearm. You want to go ahead and double click on that. Value data should be in hexadecimal for underneath base, and the value data, we want to change it from 0 to 1. So just type the number 1 in value data exactly as it appears on my screen. Don't spell out 1 don't have any spaces or characters in here, you just want to have the number 1. And then left click on OK once you have done that. Close out of here. Hopefully it's been able to resolve the problem. Now if you are still having another issue, we can go ahead and get back into the registry. If you've restarted your computer and you're still having problems, we're going to go back in the registry editor here. Right click on it, run as administrator. Are you sure? Left click on yes. So we're going to back up a little bit from where we originally started. So we're going to back out of Windows NT. We're going to back out of Microsoft software. And now that we are still underneath HK Local Machine, now you want to select System. So expand the System folder. Expand the Setup folder now. Go down to Status. Expand that as well. And now there should be something that says Sys Prep Status. Please note, just like the first registry modification we did, you can see the path that we're taking up at the top of this window here. So if you need to slow down the video, pause the video, or just take note of the path that we're following up here with all these little slashes, you guys can easily be able to follow along with where I am in the registry editor. So with that out of the way, now that we have just left clicked on the Sys Prep Status folder one time, you want to go over on the right side and locate the generalization state D word value. Double click on it. So value data, you want to make sure it's set to 7 exactly. It appears on my screen to the number 7. Left click on OK. And now there should also be a clean up state D word value as well. If you do not see one in here, we're going to right click inside the blank area on the right side. Left click on new and then select the D word 32 bit value. I'm going to call it cleanup state, all one word, and clean up. The C and the cleanup should be capitalized, and the S in state should be capitalized. Hit enter. And now you want to double click on this value, and you want to set the value data to 2. So just type the number 2 in here. Left click on OK. If there's already a cleanup state value in here before you did anything, you would just double click on it and select 2. You wouldn't have to actually create anything like I just showed you. So once you're done with that, close out of here. We'll suggest restarting your computer and hopefully that's been able to resolve your issue. 
Now, one further thing we can try if you are still experiencing an issue with it would be to go ahead and open up an elevated command prompt. So head back to start menu, type in CMD, best match should say command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now I'm going to have two commands in the description of my video. You guys are more than welcome to just copy them out and then paste them into the command prompt like I'm going to show. Or you could just type it in. I feel like you're more likely to make a syntax mistake if you are going to just type it in. That's why I probably would recommend you guys just copy and then paste it into the command prompt. And once you've copied it from my description, you go up to the top bar of the command prompt. Right click, left click on edit, left click on paste. This is the first one, so msdtc space minus sign uninstall. Going to hit enter on that. And now that you've done that, I'm going to copy the second command from my description. Same procedure we did the first time. We're going to right click on the top bar of the command prompt, left click on edit, left click on paste, hit enter. And there you go, simple as that. Restart your computer and hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.